Hello, it's another international break, but it is the last one of the year, so we can look back on the last week or so. What a game, what a win, what a header. It is such a good header, it's a brilliant ball. The pace of the ball is all there. It's about guidance, about taking it into that top corner. De Gea doesn't move. And it really is just a, br a brilliant goal to win what I thought was a brilliant performance. We thought it looked a bit like the Chris Sutton goal, though. Do you know what? There are similarities, aren't there? You look at this now, both balls come in from a similar kind of area, both headed into that corner. One ended in 5-0, and uh, the other yeah. one ended in 1-0. Morata also did this. Absolutely brilliant. He does it brilliantly. If he's meant that, well played so. Just on the headers, by the way, uh, online in the video on demand section, you can enjoy some of the best headers that we've picked out. There's 10 of them. Jason, pick one. Munich, Didier Drogba. I say no more. I'm going to go for something a little more obscure that you might have forgotten. Torres, miles out. Genk, absolutely incredible. But there are eight others, and they're all brilliant with varying different significances. Now, speaking of heads, <laughs> mine's OK, despite this. What was this, Cundy? Explain well, yourself. Well, I just built some coffee. I was asking the guy, and I look at your face. <laughs> look at Pat. Pat doesn't know what's going on as well. I absolutely clumped his head. I'm sorry, Ben. It's all I'm right. Sorry, I did look sorry. cross, to be fair. Pat looked amazed, like he thought someone was going. Have you forgiven me? I've forgiven you. Everyone was here from the world of football and beyond, actually. Yeah. And Julia Roberts. <laughs> and whoever that bloke is in there with David A in the dressing room. Both security aren't really going to stand up to him, are they? Also here, Looney fan from Tokyo. We saw yeah. him last week with David Louise at the uh, entrance. He's to... a proper fan, yeah, right? Yeah, he's, he's bonkers. This was at the game on Sunday, by the way. Straight back home, Tokyo for the latest leg of the Trophy Tour of Asia, which has been in Bangkok. It was in Mumbai before that. This is funny. Uh, photo bomber with a difference. Have a look at this. <laughs> he's behind you. Oh, no, he's not. Panto season comes early to Tokyo. Back to Surrey. Here's the best of Cobham from the last week. Now we've also brought you this week live action from the Women's Champions League after that incredible tie with Bayern Munich to get into the last 16. It was a little easier, a little more straightforward, a little less dramatic. First leg against Rosengard, Jason. 3-0, yes. yeah. Frank Kirby with the first. It's, do you know what, it's a little bit Eden Hazard-esque, isn't it, on the other side? You know Eden cuts in on the, that right foot and bends it. Lovely finish from Fran. Do you know the most important thing is, of course, in Champions League is we don't concede an away goal. Not only did we, did we not concede, but we doubled our tally. Ramona Backman here drilling in for 2-0. The third goal was a bit scrappy, if we're honest. Well, from their point of view, defensively, they're not cleared it. And we make the most of a, a loose ball in the box, 3-0. There aren't many better home performances and results in the Champions League knockout stage than that. Hope you enjoyed that live on Chelsea TV. You may have seen Ramona Backman's um, celebration of her goal. Um, 
We think it's Aaron Cuthbert under the hat. But we'll take this. This is better than watching Human Son and Deli Alley. And on to social media. Have a look at this. Cesc Fabregas asking the question, yes or no, Jason, for you? Should he have a haircut? Um, I quite like it like that, actually. Could he go for the Antonio Conte? Or if he wants to play next to Kante in midfield, the back of Yoko? No, just go for a little trim. I quite like it the way he is. Eden Hazard posted this, uh, doing his other day job, as he called it, walking oh. the dogs and uh, talking about the tightness of marking. And then this, Conor Gallagher, England under 17, World Cup winner, but can't find an empty net in the back of his guard. Good first touch, now hit the target! Oh dear. Right, what's it time for now? Game of Loans! Three goal scorers to tell you about this week. Marco Van Hinkle, obviously, because it's every week now. Joao Rodriguez scored for Tampico Madera in Mexico. And Jordan Houghton in a brilliant FA Cup ding dong. Ebb's fleet were 2 0 up on Doncaster. It finished 6 2 to Donny, and Jordan got a goal in that, so well done him. OK, now ahead of the Manchester United game last week, we asked you. They've only won one in 15 games here at Stamford Bridge. And what were the main contributing factors to that game? What happened that aided to that particular victory? Benjamin. The answer was? They had two-man advantage. We had Branagh sent off and we had Fernando Torres sent off as well. Well done. First three answerers were Terry Kassif Alam, Matthew Strange and Say Dallas. Uh, you win a signed Mark Clattenburg D. This week's triv involves this man who, on this day 11 years ago, did this. This is his first Chelsea hat trick, Didier Drogba, 2006, Watford at Stamford Bridge. Talk us through the goals, Jase. Well, that one is not too difficult. It's about right place, right time, but isn't it always with a, with a striker? This one, well, again, right place, right time. Sheva cuts the baller back in towards Didier, and there he is to finish it. I think the keeper will be a little disappointed with that. And now he's on a hat trick. Are you Robin? Jeremy on the outside. He uses him by not using him, then he uses him. Jeremy crosses the ball. And there he is, Didier. Moving on to this week's trivia. That was his first hat trick. But what was Didier Drogba's last hat trick for Chelsea? And who was it against? Reply below. And we'll read out the quickest answers next week. And that is it for this week's show. We will leave you with this wonderful new Spanish intuition, we're calling it production line. Outside of Manchester City, most assists in the Premier League this season. Remarkable. Remarkable. Morata's on the end of them all. Goodbye. That's Bill Equator in for Morata! Yeah! That's Bill Equator into Morata! Oh. Bang, bang! No flag here on Morata. Could be the perfect start, and it is! Villaqueta chests it down, Patrick Morata. That's Villaqueta. Oh, that's a good ball in for Morata. Yeah! It's that combination again.